Good morning and welcome to Baby Time. This is Miss Emily and today is Monday, January 17, 2022. I'm so glad you're here with us today. We're going to talk and sing and read and write and play and those are the five focus areas of early literacy. So let's get going. Looks like we're going to have another snowy Monday. <laughs> this is winter, Miss Emily. You know that. It's going to be snowy. Well, yes, I do. So that's okay. We'll say snowy Monday. But first we have our New Year's song. Oh, yeah. It's a brand new year. Every January that happens. So let's sing our New Year's song. Now we have a brand new year. A brand new year. A brand new year. Now we have a brand new year. It's 2022. Yay! Good job. I bet you knew that soon before I did. Well, there's our cat all ready for singing a song. Let's sing together. Come along and sing with me. Sing with me. Sing with me. Come along and sing with me on a snowy Monday. Come along and clap with me, clap with me, clap with me. Come along and clap with me on a snowy Monday. Come along and roll with me, roll with me, roll with me. Come along and roll with me on a snowy Monday. Come along and stretch with me, stretch with me, stretch with me. Come along and stretch with me on a snowy Monday. Great job, everybody. Good stretching. Pickety pickety bumblebee, won't you say your name for me? That's a great name. My name is Miss Emily. You've seen me at the library if you've come to get anything lately. And I'm so glad that you do. We are still offering curbside service if you feel safer staying in your car and having one of us run your materials out. And you know, Miss Katie and I would be glad to bring your things out to your car and wave and say hi. We love to visit with all our friends. Okay, let's get up and do some more stretches. It's so good for our bodies today. Up, down, ouch, I hit the table, turn around, touch the sky, and touch the ground. Wiggle fingers, wiggle toes, wiggle shoulders, say hello, hi out there. Yeah, I'll try not to hit the table anymore, ouch. Mmm, look at those bright, juicy oranges. Yay, they are so good. You shouldn't eat the outside, though. Don't do that. But an orange, freshly peeled and in sections, is a great or a way to get some healthy vitamin C and some good fiber in your diet. So I'm going to get some oranges when I go to the grocery store next. Hopefully, I'll be eating some right after baby time. So let's sing together. O is for orange, that's good enough for me. O is for orange, that's good enough for me. O is for orange, that's good enough for me. O, orange, orange, orange starts with O. Great singing. Yes, we've got to have our warm clothes on when we go outside, don't we? Because it's kind of cold outside this time of year. Let's sing our warm clothes for when it snows. Start with our hats. My hat goes on my head. My hat goes on my head. Warm clothes for when it snows. My hat goes on my head. My scarf goes round my neck. My scarf goes round my neck. Warm clothes for when it snows. My scarf goes round my neck. My gloves go on my hands. My gloves go on my hands. Warm clothes for when it snows. My gloves go on my hands. My boots go on my feet. My boots go on my feet. Warm clothes for when it snows, my boots go on my feet. Yay! Good job! You found all the parts. Let me keep you nice and warm. Another good fruit that you could eat this time of year is a banana. Do you have any bananas at your house? I don't have any at mine, but I can pretend my fingers are the bananas. Let's pretend. Ten yellow bananas growing on a tree. Five for you and five for me. Help me shake the tree just so, and ten yellow bananas fall down below. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Great job counting! And now it's time for our opposites. Let's start with big. Reach your arms way out to the side. This is big, 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 and this is small, small, small. 
this this short, 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 and this this tall, tall, tall. This is fast, 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 and this this slow, slow, slow. This is yes, 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 and this is no, no, no. Good job on your sign language. If you can learn to say yes and no in a couple different languages, that's very helpful. Here is our question of the day. When do you sing during the day? <laughs> Look at that funny picture. Those grown-ups are silly, aren't they? They're making silly faces when they sing. Oh, goodness. Is there a time of day when you sing? Do you sing a wake-up song or a clean-up song? Do you sing lullabies when you fall asleep at night? That's a lovely time to sing. Or maybe you sing when you're happy and when you're playing in the afternoon. What time of day do you sing? Okay, scientists, have you noticed that the Earth turns around? I don't really notice every day, but I'm awfully glad it does because it keeps everything going the right way and keeps gravity working. Let's sing our orbit song together. The Earth turns around, the Earth turns around. Once a day, every day, the Earth turns around. The moon goes round the Earth, the moon goes round the Earth. Once a month, every month, the moon goes round the Earth. The earth goes round the sun, the earth goes round the sun. Once a year, every year, the earth goes round the sun. The stars are all around, the stars are all around. Here and there and everywhere, the stars are all around. Good job noticing things about your world. That's really important. Oh my, I wore my mittens today because it was cold outside and my fingers get chilly. Let's do our mitten rhyme. Here is a mitten, a snug, fuzzy one, with a place for my fingers and a place for my thumb. Here are two mittens, a colorful sight, one for my left hand and one for my right. Did you get your left and your right correct? Sometimes that's tough. Here are our mittens, as soft as can be. A warm pair for you and a warm pair for me. Yay, good job. Oh my goodness, it's a great big snowman. I saw some snowman pictures on Facebook this week. Oh, they were cool. I hope everybody has a chance to go make a snowman soon, if you haven't made one yet. The snow's got to be just right, so you can't do that every day. But let's sing our snowman song. We can sing that anytime. I'm a great big snowman, tall and fat. Here is my tummy, here is my hat. Raisins for my eyes and a carrot nose. I'm all snow from head to toes. Good singing! Okay, it's time for the month of the year. Do you remember what month we're in? It's the first one. It's January. That blue one with the snowflake. It starts with a J. J January. We can hear that when we say the word. Let's say all our months in order because we know that's an important math skill. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Yay, good job. Okay, so earlier we asked what your favorite time of day for singing was. Well, music releases dopamine in your brain. That's a feel-good chemical, and it makes you happier. When you're in a good mode, it's easier to think of new ideas, come up with solutions to problems, and be more open to alternative suggestions. <laughs> so what does this mean for us? <laughs> when the three-year-old is grouchy and throwing a small fit because they can't have Oreos for dinner, maybe singing will help? Mm, it might, might help them be a little more suggestible to an option, like you can have an Oreo as long as we also eat the food that's in front of you. <laughs> so this release of dopamine and good mood also makes boring repetitive tasks seem more fun. And you know Disney, they've got a corner on this. There's Whistle While You Work, and I Can Go to the Distance, and the work song from Enchanted. But we've, you know, we've always done this. There's the cleanup song. There's, you know, a song about brushing your teeth. There are things out there that people have done for generations and millennia to make work go better. And they sing, you know, sing, hum, whistle, do something musical. So 
Music is one of the only things that has been shown through brain scans to light up the entire brain. Music is language and art and mu math and science and it's everything. So get more music in your day if you can. And I don't, I don't care if you're a terrible singer. I'm not a great singer. You know that. You hear me on Baby Time every week and on Story Time singing with Miss Sue. I'm not fabulous. You know, it's okay. Your children really don't care. They see you having fun. And they, it, it makes them, with those mirror neurons, it makes them have fun. So, sing something today. Whistle a tune. Make it fun. And hopefully that'll make your life a lot easier with your children too. What day is it? Oh, I remember. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. All day long. All day long. Yesterday was Sunday. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. Let's have fun. Let's have fun. Yes, let's have fun. We had a great time today so far. And we can keep up all the great times and songs with our ABCs. I think you know them. Sing along with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Yay! Great job! Good job on your ABCs. Oh, yay! It's time for head, shoulders, knees, and toes. I love this one. Let's do some stretching. Are you ready? You know where all your body parts are? This is an important skill. Let's keep working on it. We'll do the song. Are you ready? Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Great job, everybody. Oh, my goodness, that baby's jumping out of the crib. Oh, my gosh. Well, let's sing a song. Maybe that baby will settle down and get ready for now. This is the way we clap our hands, clap our hands, clap our hands. This is the way we clap our hands so early in the morning. This is the way we stretch up high, stretch up high, stretch up high. This is the way we stretch up high so early in the morning. This is the way we stomp our feet, stomp our feet, stomp our feet. This is the way we stomp our feet so early in the morning. This is the way we stand like a bird, stand like a bird, stand like a bird. This is the way we stand like a bird so early in the morning. Woo, good job. Did you get to stand on one leg like a bird? That's a tough skill. It's hard to master, but I think you can do it. Keep practicing. It's a goodbye train already. That means baby time's over. We are at the end, and you guys did such a great job today. I'm so proud of you. Well, we learned a lot about singing today, so we're going to sing one more song. Are you ready? Oh, the goodbye train is leaving, see you soon, toot, toot. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving, see you soon, toot, toot. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving, the goodbye train is leaving, the goodbye train is leaving, see you soon, toot, toot. Oh, we'll say goodbye to Genevieve, see you soon, toot, toot. Oh, we'll say goodbye to Oscar, see you soon, toot, toot. Oh, we'll say goodbye to Madeline, we'll say goodbye to Erin. We'll say goodbye to everyone. See you soon. Toot, toot. I'm so glad you were here with me. Goodness. Baby time is fun for me, and I really enjoy it. So I hope you enjoy it, too. We talk about all the things you can do to be a great reader, and I hope that you will do some of those things. Go out today and through the week and find times to sing and hum and whistle and make some music and enjoy it. <laughs> and I hope that you will find good things to do. Now, tomorrow we'll have babe, our story time on Facebook, and we'll have a craft idea. Um, let's see. 
think that's about it. We have our Fun Family Friday bags every Friday from 11 to 3, both Ludington and Scottville. You can pick those up on the fence outside, unless it's really windy and they won't stay. And then we bring them into, indoors. But, you know, it hasn't been too bad this, in January so far. So, knock wood. We'll hope for the best. Um, and we'll see you next week for baby time. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.